testing to come, including these water tanks that will simulate the weight of hundreds of passengers. But in the rush to get the plane ready, it appears that something's been overlooked. The cabin lights are not working. Cabin illumination is switched along. No. No. So we have no possibility to switch the, the cabin illumination. I need the lights. The cabin lights are uh, to, 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 to be open. We have been having handover meetings for the past two weeks. Yes. Nobody ever said that the cabin lighting was not working. Nobody ever mentioned the limitation. Nothing was said about lighting. So now we put on the we put on the uh, breakers. If something burns, it will burn. You so are a problem. With Fernando's words ringing in their ears, the engineers get to work, and in no time, the lights are on. Immediately, the mood changes, and the plane can officially be handed over. For Gérard Desbois, it's just like taking delivery of a new car. On a une tradition en France. We have a tradition here in France. If you buy a new car, the dealer throws in a bunch of flowers for your wife. Here, you can see we have a beautiful bunch of flowers hand-picked by the engineers from the side of the runway. So we've kept up a marvelous French tradition. At last, the A380 is towed across the airfield, leaving the factory where it was assembled behind. It's a journey of only a couple of miles, but it signifies the beginning of its new life at the flight test department, where the pilots are based. Quite a crowd has turned out, and the question on everyone's lips is how long will it be till the plane flies? Previous aircraft have taken about a fortnight from this stage, but Fernando Alonso won't be pinned down to a specific date just yet. I really do not want to be under the pressure of saying it's 10 days or two weeks. I, I, I don't know. It'll be when it'll be. Uh, and nobody's keener or more eager to fly than we are. So uh, I, think, I think you just have to rely that as soon as we feel that the airplane's ready, we will fly. In their time, these guys have test flown everything from airliners to jet fighters. But this is their biggest challenge. With an average of 18 years at Airbus, though, they have the experience needed to do the job. On previous programs, they've performed takeoffs with runways flooded with tons of water. They've deliberately scraped the fuselage along the ground during takeoff. And they've flown aircraft to Siberia to test them at 50 degrees below zero. Plus, of course, they've thrown passenger planes around in the sky in the most extreme maneuvers. For Airbus chief test pilot Jacques Rosé, it's a challenging but satisfying job. It's, it's something which is uh, rather demanding. It asks you to be at, at, at your best level permanently because you, you cannot, you cannot uh, uh, cheat. Uh, you, 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 you are really flying in real conditions and uh, it's, uh, it's something which is uh, stimulating, I would say. Within the next 12 months, Jacques and his team will be doing maneuvers like this in an A380. But all that depends on getting the plane working and into the air for the very first time. The first step is to troubleshoot the aircraft, to make sure that they are familiar with all the systems and that everything is working properly. By April the 8th, the team are ready to test the engines. To start the engines, there's, there's one ignition, which is that one for the APU. That'll start engine number one. That'll start engine number two. That will start engine number three. And that'll start engine number four. With emergency crews on standby, the A380 can at last start to come to life. The sol pour deux. Mais pour deux. Deux. Un. Top. Bonne ouverte. The smoke is caused by a protective layer of oil burning off as the engines are run one by one.
Testing and monitoring the engines takes two long days. But at last, the aircraft can move under its own power for the first time. The next 10 days are spent on further detailed checks on the ground, and the A380 becomes a familiar sight at Toulouse International Airport, taxiing up and down. Gradually, the speed is increased, and most importantly, the brakes are tested. By the look of the tyres after the tests, the brakes are well up to the job. Confidence in the aircraft is growing every day. Uh, there's still some little things to be fixed, but uh, we're, in, we're getting closer. Every day we're closer. Each of the flight test team has a very specific job. And flight test engineer Jackie Joie's role is to monitor the engines. On the way back from one of the ground runs, Jackie thinks he may have spotted a serious problem. I saw it uh, while we were taxiing back from the. I saw it going inside. Yeah. No, no. I, I, I saw that there was a, a white spot that looked uh, suspicious. Okay. He suspects something has gone into the engine. The fear is that whatever has caused these white marks could have damaged the six-ton, nine million pound power plant. Replacing the engine would almost certainly delay the first flight. Gérard Debois arrives to give his expert opinion. It is a bird. Tu déconnes. Ah bah tiens, arrête. C'est du Caf 4. Il a raison. It's bird. That's the bird. Where did the bird go? He was scared. He was really scared. Really scared. Voilà. Two days later comes a stark reminder of the dangers facing the test team. Jim Fawcett has to make sure they are familiar with all the safety kit on board, including an emergency escape chute should the unthinkable happen. We have an emergency evacuation system. This is fired by pyrotechnic handles in the cockpit and in the uh, flight test engineer station. Uh, they drive a firing door which is down the bottom of this tube here in the main cargo door. The crew can come and jump safely out through this door and with the aid of a parachute get down safely to the ground. OK, we're off. After two weeks of hard work, there's one final test. The engines are brought to full power for the first time. Power set. Accelerating hard, the plane reaches 130 knots, almost 150 miles an hour. 100 knots. 110. 120. 130. And the brakes are applied. Reverse fast. Lots of reverse. Looking good. Spoilers look good. With that, the world's biggest airliner is ready to go. Ease off the brakes. 80. Reverse idle. 70. Brakes off. 60. Not bad. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Engines 1 and 2, minor faults. Yeah, as usual. No bloody alarms, at least. Well then. Pretty good. That was excellent. The day of the first flight has arrived at last. I just, I just hope the days go, the day goes by very, very, very slowly. I want to, I want to profit every single second of it. Now you think of uh, what you're going to have to do, so it uh, keeps your mind busy. It's difficult to uh, sleep properly. But uh, it's a special day. You can do without uh, the extra hours of sleep. I will catch up tonight. Over 50,000 people have come to watch. 